Welcome happy campers, it's me Manda here with Cookville RV and Marine and today we're taking a look into this 2021 Reflection 311 BHS. But before we get started, don't forget, hit that like button, that subscribe button and that bell notification icon because we post videos all the time and we know you wanna watch them. So let's get going. On the outside of this reflection, one thing you'll notice is we have not one, but two awnings, both with LED light strips underneath. Super convenient and super awesome for the outdoor vibe. We have outdoor speakers, do also light up a nice blue color at nighttime, and lots of windows here, especially on our slide back there. But let's go over the storage and then we'll make our way to the back. Located in the front of the camper is our pass through storage it is humongous as usual for a reflection super easy to keep clean to store things we have two led lights a battery disconnect but on the other side we have our utility bay here for when we get to the campground all of our tanks and valves are fully insulated and heated even for those a colder season and we have a one touch control system that controls our slides awnings and even our lights but there's one more thing that i have to show you so we are back on our main door side and I'm on our rear slide here. We have an outlet and a cable and satellite connection, but also back towards the back. We have our outdoor kitchen. It is humongous, has two lights in it and I get an electric only refrigerator that is humongous and even has a can dispenser. So that's super awesome that they added that in. We have a skillet option here, two burner top capital skillet option. Nice big sink, again, two outlets and plenty of storage up top and even an extra drawer for any utensils that you don't want to keep going inside for. Perfect place to store them. On the inside of this reflection, they have placed, of course, the utility and control panel right here when we come in. Of course, everything is easily labeled, all of our slides and awnings. I love that it's easily accessible, but let's move on to our kitchen. In our kitchen, this is the pebble decor. It is super gorgeous, but starting here, we have our hutch area. Of course, plenty of room to carry plates, glasses, any serving ware you need for your parties on your weekends. This is a really nice countertop space to have a coffee machine, a margarita machine, or any other uh, sort of electronics you want to carry. There's extra outlets located up here and there's an extra light and some of our light switches are underneath here as well. Moving on in this slide, we have our RV uh, fridge, gas and electric. It matches the decor of the rest of this kitchen. Three burner top fury on stove with a little bit more of a residential stove option. This is larger than your other typical fury on stove. Residential microwave. I love the stainless steel look. And again, they've added in as many places, especially for your spices that you can store. Super easy and convenient. Also in this same slide is our pantry option. We have a light in there, it's motion sensor. There's plenty of places to put things, even full boxes of cereal. And I'm thinking some pet bowls would be perfect for down there. Now looking at our island. Again, I love that they've rounded these corners. No one needs to be bumping into each other or the island when trying to cook, of course. We have a very deep stainless steel inset sink here with a matching stainless steel nozzle with a removable nozzle, of course. I love the tiles that they've added for when you're traveling, just to make sure things don't go flying. These fit very snug and they're very heavy duty. We have lots of drawers below it, but let's move on to our entertainment space. Watching a TV show after a long day is super easy in this reflection. We have a smart TV that is on a swivel so you can perfectly manipulate it to be right in front of you for perfect viewing. More storage above, but also our indoor outdoor speaker system and our DVD player all in one right here in the entertainment center. Below we have a fireplace that is gorgeous when turned on. It does double as a space heater or an electric heater as well. And again, more storage wherever they can find it. Perfect place to hang some old movies in there. But across from it is our theater seating option, Thomas Paine. They fully recline. They don't even hit the back of the slide and they light up. They have awesome cup holders and even extra storage in here for remotes. So no need to lose your remotes. Um, again, these slides, uh, this slide in particular has lots and lots of windows that look out onto your entertainment space out there. So with the windows up and wherever you're parked, it's gonna be beautiful. But let's look at the dinette. 
So our dinette looks a little bit different because we always show you with the table up, but this is what it looks like with the table down. And I like to call this the emergency sleeping space. Not that anyone really wants to sleep here, but they can. I am five foot 11 and of course I've got plenty of room. It'd be pretty comfortable, but our table is located underneath here. You just take the pole insert and put it on there. It's definitely not a one touch type thing, but it's easy enough for one person to do it. But there's a few things that I mentioned and that are a little bit odd. One being this mirror. Usually they put mirrors to make sure that you can see the other side of your slide to make sure that nothing's catching. But they just placed this here. Not that I'm in disagreeance. I really like mirrors. Just pointing it out. But moving back towards the bunk room, one thing we don't want to forget is this really cool built-in. I like the little accents they've added here. It's a good space to keep things. It could be a catch-all, especially when it goes into the kids' room. But let's look right in here. In our bunk room, I am sitting on the Thomas Paine trifold sofa. This is a really good option for an extra seating option or an extra bed if you can't or if you do use all of your bunks. Above here is our half bunk. It's on hydraulic lifts, so even a small child could lift it up and put it in a locking position or even pull it down. It's a little bit difficult to get in here. I would have to say they don't really have a, a ladder that I can find, but I can get in here as an adult. And there is an extra window up there as well and two LED lights for both the bottom and the top bunk. But on the other side, we have a larger bunk option here with a nice big window and its own shade. But one thing I wanna point out is there's no railing here. Um, so if you're a little concerned about your child falling in the middle of the night, definitely something to think about. This is wood, you could possibly drill into it if you wanted to add that, but that's just a thought. As far as the um, ladder for this bunk, it'll be reinforced by the shelves right here. So you can double these shelves or a ladder, whatever you need to use it for. Other things we have here is lots and lots of drawers, a place for a TV with an extra outlet and USB charging ports in here as well, and a mirrored front hanging area. And that has a removable shelf in there as well. There's a lot of space for a lot of things to be stored in here. A special bonus in this bunk room is its own half bath. We have, it's just a small bathroom here. It has its own window again with the shade, a nice mounted mirror, no storage behind that mirror, a little bit of countertop space, nice stainless steel sink, and a porcelain foot flush toilet that's facing opposite of the wall. That's kind of odd to me, but definitely still functional. Up the stairs and towards the master will be our full bath of this reflection. Starting here, we have our standard porcelain foot flush toilet, mirrored front medicine cabinet, lots of storage behind, um, and an extra towel holder right below it. Super convenient and next to the shower. Speaking of shower, we have a corner shower here. Fully enclosed, plenty of room in here, and I am 5'11 and fit very comfortably, especially the skylight. Uh, there's really a lots of room in here, and they've added a little mesh compartment for your shampoo and conditioner, but moving towards the sink. They've given lots of countertop space, as much as they can with this sort of side mount sink. Storage below and a mirrored medicine cabinet with again, more storage behind it. But let's look at the storage that you definitely will love. Located in a slide is this wardrobe option that sort of goes between your master, bathroom, and your bedroom. So we have two hanging options behind here and two drawers, and it even has a part for a TV and even sort of a little catch-all area here. One thing I've never really understood is why they don't put a light in here, especially when the window is closed, but they do have a window, so it adds in a little bit of extra outdoor lighting. Also in the master is a residential size queen that is very comfortable. It's definitely not the old RV mattresses we're all used to. Um, each side has its own sconce lighting that you turn off with just the touch of a button below it. Also another lighting up here that is on, off, motion sensor, whatever you need. And again, more storage. Oh, definitely hard to open, but good for the road. More storage back here and up here and just about anywhere in this reflection. Do you have any questions about this reflection or any of the other reflections we have on our lot or can order for you? Then give us a call here at Cookville RV Marine or visit us online at cookvillerv.com where your adventure awaits.